Islands and Rena Lakes. Speaker, according to the Minister of Health, there are many different factors to consider before lifting mandates. And he said, quote, it's quite complicated, end quote. Well, health officers across Canada have worked through these complications and have ended their mandates. So, if it is not complicated for the provinces, why is it complicated for this minister? The Honourable Minister of Health. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. And I know this might sound a bit complicated, so let me get that very simple. 8,000 and 25,000. 8,000 is the number of people who today will have received either their first or their second dose. 25,000 is the number of people who today will be receiving their booster dose. Mr. Speaker, we're very grateful to them, not only for protecting their health, but for protecting the health of those they love. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. The Honourable Member for Leeds, Grenville, Thousand Islands and Rideau Lakes. Well, on Monday, Speaker, I asked the Health Minister what the national vaccination target would need to be for Canada to achieve before they lifted the mandates. His response that our booster uptake was too low. Well, next week, it will be that case counts could be off, or the following week that wastewater surveillance numbers were askew, and the goalposts will keep on moving. What numbers do Canadians have to hit before the minister agrees to lift the mandates? The Honourable Minister of Health. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and let me again thank not only my colleague, who I enjoy the company and the work of, but also all Canadians. And let me say that vaccination mandates that opposition Conservative MPs oppose during the campaign have, see, have, have saved not hundreds of lives, but thousands of lives. Estimates are that about 1,600 people in the last few months have had their lives saved for only that person, that purpose, which is vaccination mandates. Absolutely. Obviously, had we not had vaccination in the last year in Canada, we would currently not be meeting in this room. We would be locked down. We would be closing Absolutely. schools. We would be closing shops and stores and factories. The Honourable Member for Leeds, Grenville, Thousand Islands and Rideau Lakes. Well, Speaker, the vaccine mandates that they imposed at the time have served their purpose according to the top experts in every province across this country. Ten out of ten chief medical officers of health have said it's time to end the mandates and lift the mask mandates. So what are the metrics that this federal health minister... What are the metrics that this federal health minister is going to follow so that he will then catch up to all of the provinces and our allies who have accepted the science and ended the mandates? The Honourable Minister of Health. And I'm, I'm grateful to the member uh, for his work and for admitting, and I think he knew that already many weeks ago, that vaccination mandates did work. Not only did they save lives, I spoke about the 1,600 Canadians who are currently alive because of those vaccination mandates. Had been not, having been not infected and sent to a hospital and then dying because of vaccination, but also large numbers of dollars, Mr. Speaker. Four billion dollars is the estimate that we saved collectively, a household income, small businesses income, because of vaccination mandates. The Honourable Member.